first thing you want to do is you want to open your map with the options button and then uh, mark this location on the map now if you don't have a map yet and when you're just starting a new game or you're very early in the game it doesn't matter uh, I will show you the general area you need to go all you need to do is follow the same path I am doing now it's a good idea to get a horse in the beginning of the game and I have a video showing how to get the horse you just need to search for horse and then Elden Ring in my Edigo channel. But if you don't have a horse, you can always run there too. Just hold the O button and you should be running. Now this video will show you how to get the best starting weapon, the best starting shield for the beginning of the game or if you're very early in the game. You can get both of these weapon and shield without doing any fighting. All you need to do is go from point A to point B and then uh, do a lot of running by pressing, holding down the O button. We just got into Stormgate. Now this is a castle area. These guys are shooting but you can just uh, double jump over or you, you can even just press O. Uh, just running. Uh, you can dodge them. Now in Elden Ring, you don't really need to uh, attack any enemies in order. Unlike the uh, Souls and Bloodborne games previously by From Software. And this is the first open world game from From Software. So basically you can just travel anywhere you want. And the good part about that is you can find good stuff without going through any bosses. So this video will show you the best starting weapon and the best starting shield uh, for early parts of the game without doing any fighting. If you have no skills or you're just starting out, you don't know how to dodge or you, you don't know how to fight, uh, you can just uh, press the uh, L1 button, hold your shield and then, and then bash him with the uh, R1 or R2 button. And in order for you to succeed in that way, you need a good weapon and you need a good shield. Now I will speed it up a bit to the first location. So first we will get the good weapon. Now this weapon is very 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 strong for the starting uh, or early part of, uh, of the game Elden Ring. So basically we are at, at the top of this cliff here. Now below us is where we marked it, uh, the location, but on this structure in the corner here that a lot of people will have missed is the strongest weapon in the beginning of the game without fighting anyone. It's a lance. Now, uh, after you get it, uh, we'll look at the stats. If you compare this lance stats with uh, other weapons, very, very, very strong. It's uh, 123. Now, that is a lot. Of, a lot of uh, damage for uh, just walking here or running or riding here. Now, below us is a very, very good shield for starting players. It offers 100% protection and all you need to do is open this chest. Again, 100% protection against physical damage and it's very 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 light. So if you have a lot of uh, armor and you just want a good shield, I, will, I compare with something that I need to fight for. The left one is the one we got, the right one is one I fought for. The next step is to go to Fort Farrath. Now this is in the eastern part of the map. You will eventually come to this Grey Yo's Dragon Barrel if you just go in this general area. Now, nearby the Grace here is this huge dragon. It's the largest dragon in Elden Ring. And he's just sleeping there. And it is safe to go near him because he won't wake up even if you uh, step on him or get very close or even uh, hit him 
So uh, when you get close, some smaller dragons will spawn. It's okay, they will, well, they will not come near this place. But this is the stomach area. And uh, I'm going to show you what happens if I attack with a uh, very strong weapon. I have the uh, Golden Halberd. It's the one I got from the Tree Sentinel, the mini boss in the early part of the game. Now I'm going to wield it and I'm going to swing it uh, with the R2. It's 78 damage if you look at the top left. Now if you want to get strong damage, you can put in two hand and bone. You just hold triangle and press R2 and it, you get 283 damage or 200 plus damage if you do uh, two hand and bone. So go ahead and put in two hand and bone and start bashing the uh, stomach area or any area you, you can find on this huge dragon. Now notice that uh, he will make some noises if you are uh, bashing him sometimes and um, basically just keep attacking. Eventually he will die. Now during this whole process of attacking he will groan a few times and then eventually he will die. So spend about 20 minutes here and you get enough ruins to upgrade any stats you need for your lance or whatever weapon. Now you also get a dragon heart that you can use later on in the game. But we'll skip on using that for now. But we want to uh, upgrade our lance and any other weapons or armor you found. So just go to any grace you find and then uh, select level up. And from here, you use the up, down, left, right to select options that you want to uh, select stats that you want to upgrade. So move right to increase, move left to decrease, move up and down to select which stat that matches the, uh, the requirements for your weapon or armor. So we will just uh, upgrade what we need and then press confirm and we are set to go. Okay, please give video a like. Please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time.